Thank you for joining us. We're very excited to have you, even if we are virtual. I'm Lisa Abbott, President of Binghamton University's Alumni Association. This is one of our very favorite events, especially when we can be together in person. And we're delighted to be able to celebrate the incredible achievements of our award winners. I'm excited to recognize four very special Binghamton University alum, each of whom is extremely accomplished in their own respective careers. When you look back at what they've done, you should feel proud of the impact that Binghamton alum are making around the world. These individuals are also making impact at the university. They recognize Binghamton helped shape who they are, and so they've given back through volunteerism, mentoring, advising, and donating. They are truly deserving of receiving an award and being celebrated by you, our virtual global Binghamton University community. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce Harvey Stenger, president of Binghamton University, who will join me in welcoming our viewers and our distinguished guests. Harvey? Hi, I'm Harvey Stenger, president of Binghamton University. Once again, Binghamton University is gathering virtually to celebrate the accomplishments of our remarkable alumni. However, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, this, our alumni awards recognition ceremonies, are now being held remotely for the second year in a row. And while we miss the excitement and camaraderie that getting together in person always generates, we are pleased that our Zoom gatherings are able to reach a wider audience. So I wanna welcome and thank everyone who is joining us for this very special program. I know that all of you care deeply about the university. It's a special place that has helped you become who you are today. And because you care about Binghamton, you also are excited to learn about your fellow alumni and want to join with them to celebrate their successes. So today, we ask you to help us recognize our outstanding alumni, people who have accomplished so much in their careers, people who have given so much to their communities and to our campus, and people whose successes shine a bright light on Binghamton University and their fellow alumni. So tonight, let's highlight and celebrate an amazing group of people who have dedicated themselves to strengthening our campus and building our communities. Together, they serve as outstanding role models for the Binghamton University family, students, faculty, and staff, and most of all, our alumni. I know all of us are very excited to see who this year's Excellence Award winners are. I know I am. So congratulations to each of them, and thanks to all of you for sharing this evening with us. And I look forward to seeing all of you in person next year. As always, Harvey, thank you for your support. And now, let's get to our 2021 Alumni Association Signature Awards program. The Lois B. DeFleur Distinguished Young Alum Award recognizes graduates from the last 10 years who are 35 years old or younger who are established alumni leaders or demonstrate potential to become future leaders. Criteria include demonstrated leadership capability, substantial commitment to service of others, demonstration of potential for leadership in the long term, and substantial commitment to the university and the Alumni Association. This year's recipient is Hadessa Matavetsky, class of 07 and MS in 2012. She was nominated by her former professor, Mohamed Kassane. As you'll hear, her connections to the university run very deep. She's a proud graduate of Harper College and the Watson School, and her Binghamton education crosses into evolutionary studies as well. Adasa is a product quality technical manager for Universal Instruments in the Binghamton area and has remained connected to our alma mater in particularly by mentoring students. Before Hadassa gives her acceptance speech, we'll hear from one of her mentees, Ezra Aldrabi. I am Ezra Aldrabi. I got my master's degree from BU and I'm working now in my PhD degree. I met Hadassah two years ago through a mutual friend who thought Hadassah could help me with job search. This was a new world for me. I, did, I know what I want, I just didn't know where to start or what to do. Hadassah encouraged me to attend networking events to make professional connections and she started to invite me to some of these events. I remember the first event I attended, I was so nervous and as I expected, I stayed alone in the corner 
And every time Hadassah saw me there, she come and grab me and say, if you want a job, you have to talk with people. And she introduced me to someone new. I talk for a few minutes and then I go back to my corner. And here come Hadassah again. I even start to avoid eye contact with her. Maybe she will leave me alone, but no, she was committed to help me. After that event, I told her I'm trying, but it's really hard for me like to make these small talks with a stranger. So she told me, Maybe joining a Toastmaster club could help you to improve your social skills and she connect me with two clubs in the area. I came a long time since then and yes, I had to put a lot of effort on my side uh, until one day it just became natural and easy. And instead of waiting for invitation, I start to look up and attend any event I can find. This helped me to land internship, improve my resume and eventually I got my first job. I want you to remember these things may be natural for most people, but for fresh graduate or international students, no. They do need some advices and some direction. And this is why I'm committed to follow her steps to help other students. What I want you to focus on here, you can easily find someone who can help a family member or a friend or even a member of their own community. But how often do we find someone who offers to help a complete stranger? This is who we are celebrating today. So Hadassah, from me and all the students who you helped over these years, thank you and congrats. Thank you so much, Esra. I am so grateful that Binghamton University brought us together. Thank you to the Binghamton University Alumni Association for selecting me for this award. A little on why this award is so important to me. So while working in David Sloan Wilson's lab, I learned about fusion, not nuclear fusion, but the psychological construct. The idea that one's identity is so can be so intertwined with a group that you experience a sense of oneness or kinship with other members of the group. That is how I feel about Binghamton University. You are all my family, both figuratively and in the case of my mom, my dad of blessed memory, my husband, my brother, and my aunt, literally. Nothing means more to me than the appreciation of my family for what I've done for them out of love. That is why this recognition means so much to me today. Given my connection to Binghamton University started when I was at campus preschool many, many years ago, I'm restricting my thank yous to my nominators, but there are so many others that I would love to include. Thank you to Professor Hiroki Sayama and Professor Shelley Dion, my co-advisors for my master's. They both introduced me to research and empowered me to create knowledge. Professor Mohamed Kasane who connects me all the time to SSI students. Professor David Sloan Wilson, my former boss and fellow traveler, who has opened my mind on so many things and impacted the way I think about the world, particularly on topics of pro-sociality and altruism. Wendy Newberger, newly retired, formerly director of Harper Edge, Harper Edge, connected me to so many Harper students in an efficient, effective, and fulfilling way. Pete Dion, one of a many Binghamton University alumni that I've gotten to work with at, at Universal Instruments. And of course, there would be no nomination if it weren't for the work of Aaron Hornbeck, uh, who is administrative assistant in SSIE. She is always so kind, so friendly, and so helpful. Thank you all so much. The Edward Weiss Band Distinguished Alumni Award for Public Service or Contribution to the Public Affairs recognizes one alumnus or alumna each year whose life, work, career, and contributions exemplify the highest standards of service and deepest dedication to the sustenance of the common good. This year's recipient is Guru Madhavan, MBA 07, PhD 09. He was nominated by Barbara Oakley, Professor of Industrial and Systems Engineering, Oakland University. 
Guru is the inaugural Norman R. Augustine Senior Scholar and Senior Director of Programs for the National Academy of Engineering, where he leads and oversees activities of broad scope and complexity focused on engineering practice, education, research, communication, policies, and social responsibilities. His work has included leading the use of complex systems engineering approach to guide a national strategy for cancer control in the United States, the analysis for making prescription medicines affordable, a global health forum on infectious diseases, and the research and development of systems analysis platform to help prioritize new vaccine development. Before we hear from Guru, we'll hear from Tom Kelly, former Dean of our School of Management and former Vice President of External Affairs. Tom was one of Guru's professors in the MBA program at Binghamton. As Guru Madhavan's former professor, I am honored to offer a few words about this remarkable individual. Let me begin by offering some descriptors that come to my mind when I think of Guru. Scientist, author, inventor, scholar, and Binghamton University alumnus. Oh yes, and I also need to mention developer of policy research that has influenced global and national policies on topics such as cancer control, the development of new vaccines, the treatment of malaria, the creation of new medical devices, and his advocacy for the systems science approach to problem solving. In all of these ways, Guru has contributed to the well-being of humanity in our nation and around the world. He has been recognized for his outstanding work by prestigious academic and professional organizations in this nation and abroad. But from my experience with Guru, I admire most the fact that he remains a humble, insightful, compassionate, and dedicated person, as well as an individual committed to the betterment of humankind. Having known Professor Edward Weisband, who created this award, I believe that Ed will be highly pleased to know that Dr. Guru Madhavan is receiving the Weisband Award this year. Heartiest congratulations, Guru, and keep up the great work because we can hardly wait to see what you will accomplish next. Thank you. A historian described Binghamton as the valley that came in from the cold. I can relate to that since my first step into Binghamton University was during an early February blizzard. But thankfully, my subsequent experiences at Binghamton provide mostly warm memories. My reflections often take me to the walks on the Washington Street Bridge, my study carol in the Bottle Library, buying my brand new 2005 Ford Focus a week or so after I got my driver's license, evening beignets, and anticipating the night blooming cacti with a mentor, Italian restaurants, the Philharmonic, and really trying to make sense of baseball at Nysic Stadium. It absolutely made no sense for someone who played cricket. As is common in our lives, these are experiences one can never plan. They just happen. Just as how I found my path from the world of engineering to the world of public policy, to now synergize them, fuse them, so engineering shapes policy and policy shapes engineering. Or to borrow from Professor Edward Weisband, who has fondly quoted the poet Antonio Machado, there is no path. The path is made by walking. There's a deep engineering spirit within this lyric, and I'm glad and grateful that Binghamton University has served as a GPS for my chosen path. I've been very privileged, both as an immigrant and as a systems engineer, to devote over a decade of service to the nation through the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine. Under the Congressional Charter of 1863, signed by President Lincoln, the National Academies provide advice to the nation on matters of science, engineering, and medicine. In every wicked problem I have grappled with, be it to provide advice to the federal government on setting new vaccine development priorities, or on making prescription medicines affordable, or to develop a national strategy for cancer control, I can pinpoint the influences from my education at Binghamton University. Even for an ongoing work for the European Commission on prioritizing anti-malarial interventions, I'm thankful to Binghamton University for laying the foundations for broad, broad-minded approaches to engage with complex systems. 
In an era of relentless specialization, Binghamton University has enabled me to thrive as a systems practitioner. This mindset has become even more useful in my current role at the National Academy of Engineering, where I'm the inaugural Norman Augustine Senior Scholar and Senior Director of Programs. That is, I get to work on anything and everything about engineering. Bulk of my work at the Academy relates to matters of engineering practice, education, research, communication, policies, and culture. And that means threading across health, security, urbanization, infrastructure, research, transportation, modern work, and the economy, the environment, and the civic life. Binghamton University gave me the vital prime shot with my education just as a vaccine. It involved advancing medical device research in the then Watson School of Engineering and Applied Science from a doctor of work, working closely from renowned leaders uh, at the Decker School of Nursing, crashing in on seminars at the College of Community and Public Affairs, developing a cultural sensibility as part of a business degree from the School of Management, notably Professor Tom Kelly, um, changing my worldview on public affairs, thanks to the Evolutionary Studies Program and Professor David Sloan Wilson, who also inspired my writing of popular nonfiction. Now, with the Edward Wiseband Distinguished Alumni Award for Public Service and Contribution to Public Affairs, Binghamton University has given me a booster shot. The writer Edith Wharton said, there are two ways of spreading light, to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. Binghamton University has offered me so much in this regard. Thank you very much. And here's to a stronger Binghamton bond. The Alumni Achievement Award honors a highly distinguished alumnus or alumna who over the course of a decade or more has exemplified outstanding, significant professional achievement. Examples include serving in a highly visible senior leadership position within his or her field, participation on special committees, boards, governing or advisory roles related to his or her field, or considered to be an expert in his or her field as demonstrated by public works or serving frequently as a media interview source. Our Alumni Achievement Award will go to Kostub Nagurkar, MS02, PhD05. He was nominated by Hari Shrihari, Dean of the Watson College. Kostub is Vice President of Corporate Business Development for GE, where he is responsible for bringing advanced technologies to billion dollar markets using a variety of innovative business models. He initiated a sponsored research program between GE and the Watson Institute of Systems Excellence on Reliability. Kostub extended GE's licensing MBA internship program recruitment to Binghamton's School of Management, and he was a visiting professor in the Watson College from 2013 to 2016. Dean Srihari will say a few words before Kostub gives his remarks. Dr. Kostub Nagarkar and all that he has achieved in his career thus far exemplifies the requirements of this award. An exemplary graduate student and a superb researcher, Kaustub joined GE's Global Research Center. His rise within GE has been meteoric, going through several ranks at GE's Global Research before he became a technology leader, which in itself is a highly coveted position. Later, a few years ago, he became, he was appointed as Vice President for GE's Corporate Business Development within GE Ventures. All this in less than 15 years of leaving our portals. During all this time, he has continued, increased and enhanced his, his work with our campus. As a for instance, he has been critical to the success of the joint workshop between the Small Scale Systems and Integrated Packaging Center, our campus's Center for Advanced Technology and GE, bringing hundreds of thought leaders to Binghamton every year for the past 15 years. He mentors faculty, mentors staff and students, spends extra time as and when needed, nights and weekends to help us. He has worked with our School of Management 
to bring in internships, to provide internships within GE. In all, he's, he's a consummate leader. His humility, his excellence, and his dedication and diligence are hallmarks that have stood him in good stead. Kaustab, congratulations on receiving this award. Hello, everyone. I'm thrilled and deeply honored to have been selected to receive the 2021 Alumni Achievement Award. This award is really special to me because it reflects all the opportunities and support that I received during my time at Binghamton University as a student that helped me immensely throughout my professional career. I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to my PhD advisor, Dean Dr. Srihari. His training and guidance have had a transformational impact on me as an individual. I would also like to thank my mentor, Dr. Sandeep Tonti, who also graduated from Binghamton University, for his terrific insights and for serving as a great role model throughout all these years. And I thank my family for their immense patience, support, and sacrifices over the years. I have always applied the motto of Binghamton University, from breadth through depth to perspective, in everything I do. It has helped me build not only the will to work hard with attention to details, but also be able to step back, appreciate diverse viewpoints and connect the dots. I look forward to continuing my collaboration and my association with the Watson College and Binghamton University for many more years to come. Once again, thank you to the Alumni Association for this award. The Alumni Association's highest honor is the Glenn G. Bartle Distinguished Alumnus Alumna Award, which recognizes and honors a graduate who has distinguished himself or herself since graduating from the university. This award serves as a memorial to Glenn G. Bartle, the first president of Harper College. It also honors alumni who have rendered outstanding voluntary service to the Binghamton University community, while also exhibiting excellence in his or her field of service to society. The 2021 Bartle Award recipient is Ruthann Kaufman, 82, and MA of 84. Ruthann is the Vice President and Financial Advisor at Merrill Lynch in Binghamton. Prior to working at Merrill Lynch, she was the Vice President Wealth Management for Solomon Smith Barney in Binghamton. She established the Ruthann Kaufman Master of Arts and Social Sciences Scholarship at Binghamton University which was awarded to a full-time matriculated student in the Master's of Arts and Social Sciences program with demonstrated financial need. She also has her own foundation, the Ruthann Kaufman Charitable Foundation. She has donated to Binghamton jointly with her husband, Bud, and has given to Binghamton through her foundation. Ruthann was nominated for this award by Sheila Doyle, Executive Director of the Binghamton University Foundation. Sheila felt the best person to speak about Ruthann's impact would be President Stanger. So here he is one more time. Harvey? I first met Ruthann shortly after I arrived on campus in 2012. At the time, I was struck by the need for an entrepreneurial infrastructure in the region, something that would help sustain and fuel entrepreneurs in the greater Binghamton area. I believe that Binghamton University had a key role to play in encouraging startups would help the region thrive and help us retain talented alumni in the region. So I was excited, in fact, over the moon, when Ruthann and her late husband, Bud Kaufman, expressed their support for a new Southern Tier incubator that would serve as a catalyst for startups and entrepreneurs, many of whom had links to the university as students, as faculty, and alumni. Together, Bud and Ruthann provided critical early support for the incubator with a financial commitment that ensured the financial viability of the incubator, helping greatly reduce the overhead costs of startups housed in the facility. This gift has proven crucial to the success of what is now called the Kaufman Southern Tier Incubator, or short, the Kaufman, ensuring that the facility has remained nearly fully occupied even during the recent economic downturn. 
In just four years since the facility opened, 18 new firms have graduated into the community, creating nearly 200 jobs, and the best is yet to come. But Ruthann is more than a friend to entrepreneurs and budding industrialists. She's a dedicated and committed supporter of Binghamton University. Bud and Ruthann have given generously to organizations in the community with a focus on education and helping the economically disadvantaged. But her support for the university has been especially inspiring. Not only has she provided financial support for university initiatives, but perhaps more importantly, she served as a behind the scenes ambassador for the campus, encouraging others to give their time and energy and resources to support the campus. In fact, her engagement and persistence has resulted in two multi-million dollar gifts from donors to support scholarships and fellowships in nursing and the STEM fields. I am so proud of the work Ruth Ann has done on behalf of the university and the greater Binghamton community, and I'm absolutely delighted to recognize her as the 2021 recipient of the Glenn G. Bartle Distinguished Alumna Award. Congratulations, Ruth Ann. Harvey, I greatly appreciate and thank you for your very kind words. I also want to thank Sheila for the nomination. I am honored to receive the Glenn G. Bartle Award. My involvement with BU, SUNY, or Harper, as I remember the names, goes back over 50 years. As a non-traditional student, I was so grateful to have BU close to my home so I could raise my children, work, and get my degrees with no time limits. I was supposed to be the class of 61, but ended up being the class of 82. I have been contributing to the university for a long time. So when President Stenger told my husband Bud and me about his idea for an incubator, we were very interested in pursuing the idea. We had, and I have, great respect and trust and admiration for President Stenger's leadership. The incubator is quite an accomplishment, and I am so proud to see it doing so well. I know Bud would be pleased. I am very happy to receive the award and know that BU has been and will continue to be a very important part of my life. Thanks again. Congratulations to all of our award recipients. We are very, very proud of you. At this time, I'd like to introduce Owen Pell, class of 1980, and the chair of the Binghamton University Foundation Board of Directors. The foundation is a great friend to the Alumni Association and to the university. I'm pleased to introduce Owen, who will talk briefly about the foundation. Thank you for being here and for engaging with Binghamton. Events like this are a great way to stay in contact with the university. The Binghamton University Foundation is the fundraising arm of the university. We help the university raise charitable gifts, watch over and invest the money raised, and work closely with President Stenger to support the mission of the university and provide a premier educational experience for every student. Even though we are a modest endowment of about $165 million, every year we provide millions of dollars to the university, including in areas where state money is cut or is not available. For example, every year we provide the university with several million dollars for additional scholarships so that Binghamton can compete with other elite private and public universities for the best students. The university also has provided millions of dollars to support, the foundation also has provided millions of dollars to support the university in acquiring land in Johnson City for the new nursing school complex and for the new school of pharmacy. The foundation board is not limited to alumni. Almost one third of our directors are from the Binghamton community, people who love the university and what it brings to the Triple Cities area. We really represent the entire Bearcat Nation. Like many Binghamton graduates and current Binghamton students, I was the first person in my family to graduate college, and many members of the Foundation Board come from similar backgrounds. I have always enjoyed giving to Binghamton because I see Binghamton as the place that launched me in life and as a gift that keeps on giving. Binghamton prepared me for engaging with the world. Our alumni award winners this evening embody the Binghamton spirit. They have energy. They are committed to engaging with the world and trying to make a difference. They have shown professional achievement and leadership, and they understand public service and the importance of giving back to the community and to Binghamton. The passion, energy, and commitment of our alumni award winners not only should make us proud, but should inspire us. 
including as to supporting Binghamton University. Find ways to engage with us. Supporting Binghamton will bring you joy, give you hope, make you proud, and inspire you. It really is a lot of fun. I hope you have enjoyed this event. Thank you for attending, and thank you for supporting Binghamton University. Go Bearcats! That concludes our program. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope that you are as inspired by our recipients as I am, and proud to be an alum of Binghamton University. Thank you, and have a great night.